Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colley, and I'm a Taurus Sun and Venus. We're going to get our daily reading. Just a quick reminder that the Super Conscious Reiki sessions I offer are half off all through October. So uh, at the end of this video, there will be a little lotus icon. You can click on that. And that will take you right to the booking site, okay? So let's get into this reading here. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy, please? Show us clearly. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly. Ooh, thought that was coming out. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for this reading, please? Divine Source Creator, show us clearly what is the overall energy. What does Taurus need to know? Thank you. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, psychic abilities. Absolutely love it. Okay, so listen. I'm just going to tell you right now, <laughs> right now, that you have a sixth sense. You have a one of the clairs, you have um, the ability to see into the future in order to make different decisions. So we all have these types of abilities. We just don't always hone in on them or we're afraid of them. Too many scary movies, right? Um, and if you're not sure what yours is, you can start looking up, like look up the clairs in which each one of them means clear cognizant, etc. Um, some of you could be tapping into mediumship. Some of you are really starting to get into your own healing abilities. Okay. So I feel like the divine is saying here, don't second guess yourself. Really start honing in, especially with that third eye. Okay. I mean, I can't take my eyes off of it. No pun intended. Um, <laughs> We all have a third eye. Okay, we all have a third eye. It's connected to our pineal gland, which is an actual gland in the brain. It is our doorway to our higher self, to our ability to understand spirit and what their messages are. It's, it's just the way that we do that. So I would tell you all, I feel like this is a big message. You want to be ahead of the game. You want to live life differently than most people do. Make sure you're doing these practices. And this would be for everybody who's watching too. It's because it, it it's across the board, right? Everybody has the third eye. Everybody has the ability to tune into it. Everybody has a, the ability to, to uh, tune into that pineal gland. So I would work with that. Now I do offer the pineal gland awakening Reiki. That is not a special this month, but I do offer that if you're so inclined. Um, but do the meditations. Find what works with you and for you to keep that open. And I don't want to go down the conspiracy theory road, but I will tell you, do your own homework. But there are certain substances that calcify that pineal gland that are used in everyday products like fluoride. Okay, I don't use fluoride. I stay far away from it. So I feel like the divine is saying, hey, we're trying to communicate with you and we're doing it through Shannon and the tarot readings and the personal readings and we're doing it you know through many different ways but you've got to connect to your own source that's what this feels like connect to your own source um, it doesn't mean that we don't like it doesn't mean that we don't get Reiki or we don't uh, listen to tarot readings or get personal readings I mean I get personal readings you can never read for yourself as a tarot reader I swear to God um, <laughs> we're so biased right um, that I go to another reader when I need a reading done. But it does say kind of like, you've got the power, okay? You've got more power than you're giving yourself credit for. But it's like anything else, it's a practice. So, yeah, I just feel like you, you gotta practice it, right? You gotta connect to it, you gotta trust it, but you gotta practice it. It's not a one and done, okay? I've never met another medium where they just had the abilities and they were just top level. No, it's practice. It's like anything else. So let's see what we have in the tarot here. 
But I'm telling you, having that third eye open and whatever practices you're doing, it really does give you a leg up in the world. It helps you to not be in the matrix, right? See, seen out of the matrix. Shows clearly what is the message. Angels, guides, ancestors. Thank you. So we've got the daughter of grails. I love this. <laughs> yeah, it's the beginning. So the daughter of grails in this deck is the page of cups, right? And so it's like the beginning of your heightened intuition, the beginning of your heightened pineal gland awakening, right? And what's so great about this is you also have the Lord of Skulls, which is the King of Pentacles. So it's like you can master this and you can bring that knowledge that you get from that realm, from the spiritual realm, from the third eye being open, and you can make something tangible with it where you are. I mean, listen, it's Pentacles energy. That's us, right? As Taurus. But I always say with the King of Pentacles, he didn't just happen to have that. It wasn't like inheritance. He worked for it, okay? But it does bring material things into your life. Like I said in the beginning, it helps you make different decisions. It helps you kind of glimpse into the future and helps you make different decisions that are in your benefit here. Show me clearly. Thank you. Yeah, the emperor. I love that. What is that noise? <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that beeping. Anyway, that's probably, I believe in everything's a sign. So that's a sign from spirit, like wake up call, right? And in order to run your own life. And again, Aries is still in the North Node. So it's all about you until the end of the year for sure, right? It's all about me. But this is being able to create your own empire here. This is the masculine energy of taking action. And I know you would think it would be the opposite. Well, for meditating, that feels more feminine energy. No, the action is doing the meditation. The action is getting the Reiki. The action is doing the practices, right? In order for you to lean into the feminine to get the messages that you need from your higher self, from spirit, from the divine, Show me clearly, please. And it doesn't surprise me because October is when the veil is the thinnest, even though these are timeless. So it would make a lot of sense that this kind of message would come out. So we've got the hermit. Yes, see? More confirmation here. The hermit. This is, you know, when we are in... Oh, yeah, I love this. Um, when we're in that hermit mode, when we pull away and we do the meditations and we have the solitude and we're quiet right and we're quiet like you can start i promise we have guided meditation with music in the background meditation but once you can do meditation with no sound with no you know guided meditation and no sound that's the hardest one to do because it's hard to keep your body in place your butt on the ground if you will right but I, wherever you're at in it, when, when you get there, even with a guided meditation, right, you will have epiphanies. Because even though it's probably not intended to be that way, what I see with this Hermit card is the Ace of Wands. Right? Lighting the way. Coming out of the darkness and the chaos and the confusion. Getting away from all of that in order to really find out what you believe, really find out the answers, right? So I'm always telling people, you know, don't trust everything that you hear. Do your own homework, especially in this time, and right? Not everything you see on the internet is true, right? But like doing your own homework here, that's what that feels like. But you will find a bigger calling for your soul by doing these practices. And I promise you, I know it's not easy in the beginning. I know it's not, especially with meditation. I understand. But you can't beat yourself up. You just got to stay seated, start with five minutes a day, build yourself up, right? And you're going to connect with your higher self and you're going to connect with source. You're going to connect with your spiritual team and you're going to learn how they communicate with you. 
like one of my favorite things to do, and I think that's where that meditation part came in, that without without the guided meditation and then without the music, is, and some of you already know this, some of you, you are new, thank you for being here, is like my favorite thing to do. And the first time I did it, it was, the first 20 minutes were very uncomfortable, but it is the um, sensory deprivation tanks where they fill up the tank with saline and salt and then where I go it's like an egg and they close it and there's no light and no sound I mean it is pitch black and there is not you can't hear anything so you have to actually I think it's a very good training technique I know it terrifies a lot of people but for me that first time I went and of course I push myself too hard sometimes but I went for 90 minutes 90 minutes right and the first, although I had no idea on time, but what felt like the first 20 minutes was insane. My brain was all over the place. It was everywhere, right? It was going this way and that way and think about this, think about that. And somewhere along that 20 minutes, I assume, all of a sudden everything got quiet. My mind got quiet. And it was the most peaceful thing I had ever ever experienced in my life, which is why I continue to go do that to this day. Find your peace. Find your inner quiet. Find your inner quiet, okay? Show me clearly. And I do want to say this too. I appreciate all you putting in the comments about your Reiki sessions with me and letting the others know because Reiki is very powerful energy. And again, it's even more powerful this time of year. Again, because that veil is so thin. So I just wanted to say a big shout out to those of you. And then we have the Daughter of Pentacles, right? So the Page of Pentacles. Getting serious. Taking what you learn through Reiki, through the meditations, through the sensory deprivation tanks, through the walks and natures. Taking what you learn to plant something solid and, and trust me with the pages that's information that comes in and information a lot of the time most of the time is going to come in through that quiet right through that quiet I love this so you have the seven of wands here the seven of wands is that card of I'm I'm not gonna listen to everybody else I don't trust, and it's not even about trust, but I guess it's a little bit about trust. Like, I'm not going to trust everything I hear. I'm going to do my own homework. I'm going to, it's like the minor account of the hermit right now, right? I'm going to go off on my own. I'm going to hear myself. I'm going to hear my ancestors, my angels, my guides. I'm going to hear the divine. I'm going to make it a practice. And like I said, she's kind of screaming right here. It's not always easy at first, but then look what happens then the Wheel of Fortune comes in. Then things change. Then you get that leg up again. Right? And then you get the information that you need. And although you guys get information you need from these readings, you're not asking me specific questions because we're not doing a, you know, a reading personally. So you're going to have to do those meditations open up that third eye I'm telling you it's a gift we all have it but it's a gift and think about how many people don't believe in what we do or don't believe in Reiki or don't believe in tarot or don't even know what their uh, their sign is right we're actually a very small group when you think about like the whole world so it is going to give you an advantage in a good way. So find that inner quiet. Find that inner quiet. Show us clearly. Find that inner quiet within you. Ooh. Find that inner quiet. I can't stop saying it. <laughs> find that inner quiet. Show me clearly. Thank you. Yep. I love it. The world loves me. Now, when we're talking about the world, I promise you, we are not talking about the actual Earth world. We're talking worldly. Universe loves me. Right? 
And I love this. We've got the world loves me. And then the bottom of the deck, that's so great. We've got the moon shows me patience, right? This is how you change the world that you live in. Again, I can't stress it enough. Find the quiet within. With that being said, book any readings or Reiki sessions with me. The Superconscious Reiki is half off when you go to the booking page right up here with that Lotus Spirit flower. Um, scroll. A lot of people forget to scroll. I have many different Reikis, many different readings. And with that being said, all of my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.